Hello! This will be a quick run through of Dark Master and we'll show you what Dark Master can do and how to use some of the basic functionality of the program. Before I get into the program though I would like to show you why it's important to match your dark frames with your light frames when working with um, astrophotography. You can see I have an image of the Rosette Nebula here and if you can see there are some ugly dark noisy streaks uh, in this image and that's because the darks did not match the temperature of the lights and so the dark frames actually added noise um, to the image and that caused um, these artifacts and then that along with flexure uh, in the telescope setup actually caused these uh, dark lines uh, to go through the image so it's important to have the um, dark frames match the light frames and temperature um, in the astrophotography uh, image. So I'm going to bring up uh, Dark Master now. This is the basic window for Dark Master. There uh, aren't very many um, options or different windows to worry about. It's very simple. First I'm going to tell Dark Master where my light frames are. I'm going to do that just by navigating to the uh, directory where I have those. And it's going to read all of the image files in that directory, pull out the temperature and uh, image size and all the other information about uh, each of those files and display that for me. And I can see that I have uh, 45 files in this directory. Each one of those is listed here. I can see the image size and ISO and exposure time for each one of those along with the temperature. I'm going to do the same thing for the darks now. And in this case it's going to take a little bit longer because I'm going to pull in all of the darks from my entire dark library. This, these are dark frames that I have taken over a period of months at different temperatures. It's going to pull in uh, every one of those. Again, looking at each file's temperature, uh, exposure settings, um, that kind of thing. Now that the dark frames are loaded, you can see I have uh, 645 files. Um, I can go through the file list, either the darks or the lights, and I can choose to deselect certain files if I don't want those included. And you can see um, the title up here says 41 of 45 files. It gives me an indication that I'm not using all of the files um, in the directory. Now um, I can click go um, to do the file matching. Now what that's going to do, it's going to separate all of my light frames into temperature based groups. So right now I have it set for five degrees. So that means all of the light frames taken within five degrees of each other will be in a group. Once it does that initial grouping, then it will pull in all of the dark frames that match the, that temperature range. And it does this fairly quickly. So you can see with a temperature range tolerance of 5 degrees I have two groups. In the first group I have 29 light files and 96 darks and I can expand to see all of those files. The second group is 16 light files and 45 darks. You can see I also uh, have indicated here what the temperature range is for each of those groups. Now if I wanted to uh, get more granular. I could say well I want it to be every two degrees. Click go again. This time it's going to create three groups and I can see all the information there. Once I have the groups separated the way I want I can say create DSS file list. That's for Deep Sky Stacker. And save that. Now once the file list is created, I can go into Deep Sky Stacker and say open a file list. Browse to where that file was just saved.
Deep Sky Stacker is going to load all of those files that I have in the list. And you can see down here at the bottom now, the main group is empty, and that's supposed to be that way. But in group one, group two, and in group three, I have all of my grouped light frames and dark frames together. They all should be there. Now what I would do is go to the main group now and load any flats, dark flats, or bias frames that may apply to all of the groups. Go ahead and load those in and start the stacking process. That's really all there is to it. Thank you for watching this introduction to Dark Master.